Oh wait, I am talking. I have my mic muted. <laughs> so, I uh, already added everyone that I possibly could at, at the moment. These are just the people who I first saw in the floor they in the floor they wanted on. So I just dropped them there already. Now I'm just gonna. I also grinded as well, so you don't have to watch me grind on stream. So I'll just suffer if I don't get stuff. I think you should be able to hear me now. Yeah, pretty good. Time to suffer a bit more though. We ain't done yet. We ain't out of the rice field. I want Sans clothes. I'm gonna just start off here. We're gonna just keep using this page for now. It's a booking time. We're gonna book all over him. Can I get the shit out of you? I don't know. God damn it. Oh, you got people gonna kill you already. The pages! The pages are real! I don't want to die personally. Such a weird. I'll do that. Let's go! And welcome back, and yeah, hello everyone again. It has been an amazing time. Yes, I, ri I grind the rats when I'm off camera. I have to. We're staggering folks. We're staggering them. Only I can stop this madness. I can do one to seven first. I want to try this one. For the sole purpose of that I can. And I'll do that too. Now then. Please mark them. You mark that one, please. God damn it. I wish it went with the other one. It's over. Oh. I don't think just die. Hey, hey, welcome back. I didn't see you in the first stream name. I even had your character in it. I gave you an upgrade. What am I gonna do with you? Six. I'll do this then. We'll counter each other. Let's see this. Who should I? I'll do that. And I'll do boop. And boop, just to help out. Just. Shouldn't be too hard. It's still easy money time. Ah, oh, damn it! Oh my! Just dodge out here like it's our life depends on it. Scars, put that on. Rolling, Lolin. Lolin. Yeah, you're in it. Who do I attack? I'm gonna attack this one. Make it seem like they're being. I could do that. Okay, that was easy. It's pretty easy. It's not too hard. It's a lot easier than um anything else. <laughs> it's a lot easier than a lobotomy corp. So I'm happy. For the moment. Ah, okay, it's all good. <laughs> I, I was just telling you what was going on and what you missed. They have, in fact, gone duffed. It was not very smart of them to do such things against me. <laughs> That's some easy books right there. Is there anything but in key page? Let me check. I know you're on. Oh no, I can't have you on this page. Uh. So I need one, two. Lowland. Action. Lowland. Malkov. Yasad. Odd. Nestack. 
Go or name it to Nezzy. I feel like the game is just 50-50, honestly, on its difficulty at times. It doesn't know what it wants to be. Burn books. I need to burn some books. Just a few. That's nice. Okay. The rat drip do be hidden different. That's for sure. Okay, nice. We got grade eight fixers. Nezzy Wezzy. Truly the bestest of drunks. Top tier drunk, but lad. Let's go. Oh man, I'm getting jumped. We just started and I'm already getting jumped. Jesus Christ. I'm not ready to get jumped. Can somebody beat that up for me? Beat him up. I demand you to beat them up. Okay, let's try this. God damn it, you wouldn't be able to hit something. Urging and urging masses. I must. I shall do this and this. I hated Yawn. Yawn was my hardest fight. It, it was like the hardest fight for me. No, nothing came close. God damn it. Well, now at least I have strength. Ooh, you took some nasty hits. I'm not hiding in the outskirts. I don't think anyone came close to Yawn for me. <laughs> like, it was that bad of a fight for me. Just beat him up. Give him the good old one, too. God damn it, just out here dodging everything. It's a purpose of me fighting back. I think the hardest one at the time, like when I first started, it's like I did everyone but Yan because he was that annoying. Yan, Yan, I don't really care. You're just gonna have to deal with me saying it weird, saying things weirdly. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. Hey. For me, I didn't really. For some of them, I didn't care at all. For some, I was like, I'll, I wish that they didn't do what they did, but you know, it is what it is. Mirror Psycho. Mirror Psycho. We're all a little psycho, aren't we? Just filthy little psychos playing this dirty game. That's the truth. Nobody here is really sane. If you're playing this game, you're not sane. I've just got to be real with you, fam. Yan. 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 I mean, some of them was like. They couldn't really do anything about it. It's like they were gonna die either way, kind of situation. So it's like, eh, they can't really do anything about it. You just have to accept it. This bitch out here hitting me like I'm a, I'm their wife or some shit. I don't prove that. The reason for me, Yan, it's like I literally cheese Yan. I just use um, learn on him. Zhao. Yeah, like some of the some of the situations like they were forced to it. 
Like, we can't forget about the stopwatch opposite and Argalia just chasing them around like a cartoon character. We're now gonna burn some of these books. Give me your books. Oh yeah, Molor? They no, Molor got tricked by R Corp. That wasn't on them. <laughs> they didn't know about what W Corp did, so. Well, no one did really. The only, I think the only people everyone should really feel bad for is Love Town. Everyone should feel bad for Love Town. We're getting these out of the way so I can get some pages. I need my pages. Yeah, Love Town is one of the ones you sh should honestly always feel sad for. They really did get dirty. What the? Do you guys have any weaknesses? Oh God, do you have a weakness? I'm going to pierce you right on up. You should feel bad for Love Town. I mean, come on, they went through so much. You can't say you don't feel bad for Love Town, man. Come on, that was done dirty. That's the thing though, booking someone doesn't mean they're dead, they're just like kind of asleep. I should have put okay, something else on him. That's not my bad. bad. Sorry, Roland, you might die, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to take. Some of them I can really sympathize with, that's just me, because I do feel bad for a lot of them. Gonna do that. Yeah. yeah, it's rigging time. I'm rigging all over him. They can't handle it. Let's go. Yeah, I try to save every nugget, but I must know when sacrifices needed to be made. Sometimes I have to let a few die for the greater good. Dude, I honestly hope Eugen comes back and becomes a color. I want to see Eugen come back the most. Eugen was goaded. I will. That's just facts. I'm sorry. If you don't believe so, you're wrong. I'm sorry. Yeah, the she. Yeah, the she got done super dirty. They were actually really good people too. If you read any of the outside of the game material. Yeah, even Roland says at the end of the game that they didn't really have a choice. It was more like they were forced to go because, like, our course. Like, the only people who really had a choice to go in were people who weren't invited. Like, the, the ensemble are the only people who, who really actually deserve to die. I really hope Eugen, I want Eugen to become a color. I want Eugen to be a color. That's just me. I feel like she earned it. Like we didn't even get to see like a fully well-rested Eugen. I, I, I will say this right now. I feel like Eugen would have, could 1v1 Zhao and win without her ego. If they both have an ego, I want to see that. I want to see them with egos. 
That's what I want. Let's get this finally. Yeah, all of them, all of the ensemble died except Philip because his unstable page still is still existing somewhere in the city. So he might reform and be like, guess who's back? Ready for my next phase? 100 scene boss fight. <laughs> exactly. Eugene has the highest base, one of the highest base HP in the game. Eugene would be one of those characters who deserve a 999 HP ego. <laughs> Yeah, Eugen honestly was honestly a beast. And it was even stated that she took the most damage out of everyone, like literally saving her own people. Philip is just the main character at this point. You just have to accept it. Hey, hey, Taco. Welcome to the stream. I'm suffering. Who am I, who I gotta fight? Who I gotta beat up? I feel like I should beat up you. I want you to shut up. Five to seven. Greta actually is more tankier than Brawl. She's tank, Greta's tankier than Brawl, which is super fucking hilarious. <laughs> Them chefs be built different. Stop beating, stop beating my ass. I didn't ask for this. Scars. Urging. I always go for urging. Six. Why do you want me? What did I do to you? That human meat be hidden different. <laughs> I feel like Greta ate all the chefs, but I, she says she didn't. I feel like I can't tell if she's lying or not. Greta just takes a nice meaty bite of your flesh and says, I'm good. Who needs a doctor? That's just what Greta does. The Greta, 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 Lin, <laughs> Greta millionaire grind set. That's exactly what Greta is. She doesn't care. She just does it. I'll do that. I'm about to get jumped. I don't like that. I don't appreciate that in the slightest. Yeah, I feel like Greta definitely ate them. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like, I can't tell if she's lying about it or not. Like Greta is either, she's either lying about it or she would have bragged about it instantly saying they were so weak and they tasted delicious. So I really do think like Greta, she was just like, she's like, yeah, they're just insane. Like I still want to eat stuff. They just started kill eating each other. That is the deal. I don't really know how to process it. You killed that Roland. We're going to jump this person now. Damn it. Really? You're still alive? You're still fighting through this? Why? Why would you want to suffer like this is my question. Okay, just just kill him. God damn it. Poke. Yeah, I feel yeah, Greta would definitely either it's either she's lying about it or she's embarrassed because she didn't she feel like they weren't as tasty as they should be. Or yeah, if they weren't tasty, she would have just said they were trash. They tasted horrible. 
couldn't make anything good from him <laughs> kind of deal. <laughs> I feel like something happened, we just don't know what. I feel like if anything happened, it was a contract with Pluto, it might have been. You mean Roland being her son? Like, I don't know why she would lie about Roland being her son, because she did say she wanted to. Yeah, people can. Yeah, that's true. They can just get super deranged and decide to eat themselves. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like... Um... The Purple Tear, she really was actually looking for Roland. Like, he... She... Like, she wouldn't have guided him otherwise. <laughs> Most sane District 23 chefs are literally the, the eight. Roland being her son? The whole reason she came to the library, if you read her book, she came to the library looking for her son. And the only person I can guess is literally her son from the library is Roland. Because she even told Roland at the end of the story to do what he wants. I don't want it. Give me this. Where is it? None y'all endeared to Pierce. I know somebody was endeared to Pierce. The last time I checked. Okay, none of them are actually endeared to Pierce, so I guess I'll just. Well, you see, Purple Tear can also see... Purple Tear can see the future as well. It's pretty weird. She has, like, some big plan besides just Roland, though. And that's going to be a pure Limbus company, I feel like. She didn't know where he was. She didn't even know at the time that was her son. It's literally, like, that hilarious. Because remember, like, the whole experiment where, like, his parents just disappeared one day? Roland's parents just disappeared one day. I'm guessing that had something to do with W Corp and how she gained her teleportation abilities. And somehow gained the ability to see through the future. It's it's a really long story. I don't understand it. I need to reread it. I need to catch back up on it. Because I may be getting stuff confused. I'll just do that then. God damn, that was a lot of damage, man. You bitch. Irie might actually be the grandma of Roland. I feel like she's related to him in some way. That's what I feel. Okay, time to brutally beat you. But that's the thing, the corpse don't want to work together. It's been like they're 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 dead set or not working together. God damn it, I got my cheeks clapped. Dummy. You can't hurt me. Inhibits. 
Here we go. Yeah, they don't really understand. I feel like they're trying. I feel like they'll figure her out later in the story, but right now she doesn't really have like anything like that's really going for her. God damn it. What should I do? I guess I'll do this. Makes sense. And now I got free damage. Can I hit this? Please. Finally, you're almost dead, finally. Oh yeah, I really do hope that we get to see more about them. Like, I want to figure out like, cause abnormalities are basically gods in this whole thing. For example, the abnormalities we face in Lebiami Corp, they're nerfed. They're even more nerfed in Rowena. So imagine a fully unleashed abnormality. Like the pianist wasn't even like a full abnormality. It was like a, a very mixed up distortion. Now imagine something like Porcubus getting into getting into the outside world unhinged that thing would be so super strong I'm super interested in um B Corp I want to know more about the beholders Distortion claws would be busted and I can see them actually becoming a thing because of the red mist Cause like you can already tell they already made the claws stronger since they were able to fight Callie and Bina. So I think like with the demonstration that they're putting on, claws are definitely gonna be much more of a threat. Oh my God, Mountain of Smiling Bodies would become a monster in like seconds. Yes, tap gear is love is equal to grade three fixer equipment. <laughs> so imagine like getting wog gear. Wog gear is basically grade one to color equipment. A lift gear is even beyond that. It's not even fair. Yeah, the head could definitely. Okay, you got to think about it like this. Bina was able to control a bunch of abnormalities as well. Yeah, the head is super OP. The head is beyond OPD. It can definitely control like distortions and shit. So I would not be surprised. I'm going to make the person here. I wanted to, let me check who was already over here. Do not remind me of melting love. We do not need to talk about that. Oh my God. Mountain of Smiling Bodies in District 23 would literally just become an apocalypse at that point. I don't think the head would be able to stop it. Oh yeah, we faced a prototype for it. Aleph Gear would definitely... Yes, an Aleph Gear employee, an EX level employee would definitely be a color. Molting love would be also be like an apocalypse standing thing, but the head you see this This is where I see it as the head would have an easier time with melting love than mountain of smiling bodies at that point They can easily what like just teleport the entire <laughs> City if they wanted to so they could like just like teleport all of melting love away into the outskirts somewhere Mountain of smiling bodies would be a lot harder to do that with You need like 20 100 claws just to teleport it away <laughs> And even then, it will still probably come back. A fully powered white knight would 
isn't even it's an end game scenario it's like it's no point in fighting at that point <laughs> i'm looking at i'm making the next looking for the person who i'm have to make next as well Center would just drive people to insanity. I feel like that's not too bad, though. All the Aleps are just like, they're like end game things. Okay, like for example, let's talk about D Capo. D Capo would be a better pianist. I'm just be real, y'all. I think a pianist would be a lot. Decapo would be amazing. Callie became a color like before she manifested her ego, and that's when she became like even like like known as the Red Mist. She was already like she was already a, a prominent color, but after she manifested her ego, it was rap. She was that's why they consider her the best one. I'm looking for who wanted to be on Nest Tax floor. Okay, I found them. I found out the person who wanted to be here. You see, that's the thing about one sin. One sin is actually the strongest abnormality, believe it or not. One sin is one, the strongest abnormality, if, you, if you're gonna put it into that perspective. And he could technically like solo all the other ones. Nah, there's no one in the blue reverb ensemble that's stronger than the head currently. Yeah, like some of the Aleps would like they will cause havoc before like it took a took them a bit for the head to clean up. The entire ensemble would have a hard time fighting one claw. Yeah, one sin can literally just solo every Aleph if he wanted to, he just doesn't. Blue Star just instantly just one shots over half of the city. Just one bing. You just see people flying away. Oh yeah, and one last thing. Uh, mimicry would be really scary for two reasons. It can copy abilities. Yeah, the ensemble, they can. It's just like, it's like not really worth it because like they have no reason to face the head. Two forty six. Six. Twenty one. Yep, that's it. I feel like the ensemble is like, for example, we haven't seen an arbiter go all out yet. Each arbiter has been holding back so far. And uh, welcome to the stream, Skill. I can't wait. To watch me go insane sooner or later. Abnos can't die. If they're released, they're like the thing about it. Abnos can't die at all. Hey man, welcome up. I'm just chilling on the stream. I'm adding some people's characters right now. So I'll be doing that. That's what I'm doing right now, actually. Projection. Eyes nine. It's going really well too. We're just like, I'm just adding people. I'm not doing anything super interesting right now, sadly. 
No, nothing there could actually copy. Um, the reason why nothing there was such a problem for L Corp is because it could copy other abnormalities. So like let's say this if once if Mimicry saw once in one shot White Knight, Mimicry could potentially copy that ability in due time. Yes, Kali in lore is super nerfed. Like she like like she's like way weaker than her prime. If we had, pr it's like this. For example, we it's like, Bina got she got Bina got buff, but if Callie needs if Callie needs to get her um lobotomy court buff back. I feel like you I feel like Callie is like one of those weird ones like she's super strong but right now she's like a lot weaker than her in her prime lobotomy carp um Callie was the strongest I mean like during her suppression I think that's when she was at her peak power peak strength anything how you ever want to describe it yeah like for example I feel like if you put yeah Callie is like slept on, but she's literally the strongest ego user. Nah, Callie is a lot weaker in this one. She's not able to use all the egos that she was able to use before, and they're much nerfed. Yes, I want to see other districts soon so bad. That's what I want to see. I want to see all the other districts. I want to see district B the most, because I, I, really, I stay in the beholders. No, that's the thing though with um, Tanya. You could literally just solo her by Gabur herself if you wanted to. You could take off all other, um, every other <laughs> librarian. You could just solo her with um, Gabur. That's the thing. So it's like really iffy on how you want to describe it. Yes, if you're strong enough, you can use multiple egos. That's how strong Kali is. Yeah, but it, when it comes down to it, like, Tanya doesn't come close to to Kali in strength. It's one of those few people that, like, she is strong, but she's not Gabura levels of strong. I'm looking for this person's height, and then we're done. The library helps both sides actually. It doesn't like have a favorite. It just picks, it helps both sides. Otherwise, um, the guests wouldn't gain emotion level. It's like fully stated that like Hallie, it was at her peak in Lobotomy Corp. Like during when she was put in a metal body, that's when Kali was at her peak. She was able to. It's like between Lobotomy Corp was when like Kali was at her peak in power. And then got nerfed after everything after Lobotomy Corp. That's when like the nerf happened.
honestly though it's like their main thing though it's like i feel like now that um callie has her body back i feel like she will get stronger again and be able to use the egos once again because one thing we also have to remember is that angela has the strongest ego right now I think what we should really talk about though is if we can, if we're going by like gameplay terms or gameplay wise, Gabura could actually sold the entire library if she wanted to, like what she what she was able to show. The only reason why, like the only reason why she lost, yeah. E no, that's the thing about ego. Unstable egos can overwhelm the user, but a stabilized ego like Kali and Zhao. They can use it for a pretty long amount of time before they have to go out of it. Now, if we're talking about Lobotomy Corp Kali, she was able to use Egos the entire time and not be able to lose her mind. Well, or she did lose her mind. Also, I'm pretty sure the, the strongest ensemble member was... It was either Pluto or Argalia with what they were able to do. Kali, no, Tanya isn't weak. It's just that when you compare it to Kali and Prime, and even post nerf Kali, she doesn't. She doesn't compare to. Um, the only time she gets close to nerf Kali and power is when she gets her distorted, distorted form. The ego would ego would nerf the head. That's how strong the head is right now. It's insane how strong the head is. <laughs> Imagine like like seeing some one of the strongest things and realizing it would nerf you instead. That's what the head is. It would like I feel they even like I feel like ego is just like a minor inconvenience to them. Nah, the library buffs both people. Library Cali, the only reason why the library is slightly stronger is because of the light, which but that empowered both sides. And even going by, like, for example, this if we're going by example for Red Mist, this fight where you bring back the past Red Mist before she's at her peak, that Red Mist with prototype gear was able to get through at least two floors if we're going by that logic. No, Roland is definitely on his way to becoming the strongest ego user. I feel like he can become the strongest with his own ego. I'm just adding, making deck building now. It wouldn't make sense for the Roland to distort. Like, if, like, um, because you remember the Smoke Wars, he might actually remember those things now. Roland, he managed to manifest his ego, but it was a light that was keeping him in it. He wasn't able to control it, though.
Yeah, you, nobody remembers the warp train though, so that's the thing about it. Also, I feel like Angela has the strongest ego. Because at any point, people forget that Angela can release the abnormalities again. She still has full control of the abnormalities. I don't think Roland was the one who did that one. God oh, damn, I'm getting my butt kicked. Yeah, people forget that the warp crew, like, they actually alter your memories once, like, they're done with you. So it's not like you really remember any of it. It just happened and you're not over it. I wouldn't be surprised if Angela Angelica was the one who was who was the one screwing with the warp train. <laughs> The W Corp, what they do if like they see someone who's like somehow managed to survive the entire train ride thing, they suppress them like with like like sleeping agents and then like just erase their memory. It's not that hard for them. Why do you think they go in there with weapons and shit? They're here to like knock you out or kill you if they have to. It's like either come with us peacefully or we're gonna just like we're gonna have to hurt you a bit and then erase your memories about it so you'll never know. Yeah, W Corp can just hurt you if like you Hey, welcome back, Cypher. Yeah, we're still doing stuff on it. We're chilling. So pretty much if you manage to like yeah, like even if you like do know what happened and you like you watch you survive the entire thing and they finally do come there, they'll still have to erase your memories because you they don't want that secret getting out. Now then I would ask if <laughs> I think the most it's like you could do in that situation is like hope like they just let you remember not to take it or something. I, that's all I would hope. Or at least tell you to get VIP treatment, <laughs> which costs a ton. Oh no, Walter. 
damage. Oh, I know what to do. Boop. Then I'm going to cut harvest this one. There we go. Oh yeah, W Carp is hilarious, man. Like they're just known for all the wacky stuff. Honestly, I really want to see this. I feel like if you have to work for one group in all of um the city, work for the Zway Association. That's. I feel like the Zway Association would be relatively safe. Or you'll be the safest with them. <laughs> yeah, Jehan is like the... But that's the thing though, right? If you go VIP, it's like you're like top tier priority. And that's the thing. It's like the only time is like... You have to worry about someone like some crazy like star of the city like Jehan and like... The, w the lady and shit. I forgot her name. It's the only time you really have to worry about it. Which isn't really happening that often as well. Yeah, that's the one time like they're screwed. Like this is the first time W Corp is actually screwed. It's because of what happened in that, that one high class VIP passengers that happened to them. That's the one time they screwed up. Yeah, that. I forgot about her name. <laughs> I guess I just do this then. Oh, yeah. But I feel like it's. I'd rather be a Zway fixer than a lot of things in this universe. I feel like it'd be safer in that area for the most part. That's the thing though, you also gotta remember what it takes to be an Arbiter or a Claw at that point. You have to sacrifice like, for example, just to be an Arbiter you sacrifice all your emotions, you don't know what kind of training they go through. <laughs> it's just like too uncertain. No, no, you don't, you don't even, no, step one is even be emotionless. It's to be reprogrammed entirely by the head. All, all things that are given to you are by from the head. Actually, we might see W Corp again, or like remnants of it, because we are gonna see the janitors. No, def being turned into a claw or arbiter is definitely painful. It's not something that goes without pain. Is I just want to say that, because if if we go by anything that what um, Malkov has said, or um, I mean Bina, whatever she said about it, anything that they did in the Bonnie Corp tour, it was nothing compared to what the head did. So that's kind of worrying. I don't want to deal with that. That's just my little talk. That's just my little two cents on it. <laughs> just said would have coffee instead of tea. He's just walking around with that and said. What is this? Oh, that's a lot of damage. God damn. Oh no, you're actually weak to that type of damage. Do I have anything else though? I want to keep that though. Ouch. The chest floor is a bit away, sadly. Weave. <laughs> yes, the first civil war is because of tea and coffee. 
Wait, I want to hide this. No, if that's the case, I'm just going to do this. You bitch. Come on, hit me! Hit me! More! Get easy on, son. Too easy. Oh, God. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Monk. I don't think Bina can even think if it was worth it again because you remember she just recently unlocked her emotions once again. So I think one thing that a lot of people gloss over is that Lobotomy Corp actually made Bina stronger a bit as well as Callie because she can now she now has her emotions back as well. <laughs> Set's floor is super weird. <laughs> We got another floor of history person we can add. Yeah, to said it's kind of, <laughs> I don't understand it, but I know it's super good. <laughs> My unga bugum brain doesn't want to understand to said. I'm grabbing the next nugget for the very intimidating stream. Floor of history. General works. Okay, so I know. Oh, yeah, the tiger is super good. Where's the floor of art? I'll put taco there next. The kitchen sink floor. Floor philosophy. Floor of literature. Oh yeah, I remember this one. That, that one's hairy. Chisad's a giga Chad. He keeps his floor alive. I'm going through so many nuggets right now. Okay, the next one is Jen. Let's go at our next nugget. Yeah, I do wish we could do that. It would be a main thing. But I think you can. I just like, nobody does it. We're actually pretty close to Tiff's floor, I think. so confused uh both are actually really good I'm not sure which one I like think is better Four. yeah Bina is insanely strong with her floor that's not even like to understate it. One? I call it. 
I really like Tiff's floor though. Tiff is like she feels like a monster when like you get all of her ab nose. Also, the red mist would be stronger on Tiferous floor, which is funny to me. <laughs> Jeez, you want to be short. 156. Okay, there we go, tiny. I'll give you that. Mountain of Corpses, it's like you don't even need it to be good with the Red Mist. You don't need Mountain of Corpses, but it is good. It is a good page, like especially if you just want her to be busted. We got an infant. <laughs> I'm short, but this is shorter. What key page do I give you? I feel like I should just give you another Lulu's page. Yes, she will burn together. One five, one fifty six is really short in height. <laughs> yeah, that's the strongest part about it, is the endurance. I feel like Roland's floor. Well, Yasad's floor also benefits from like let's work together. Malka's floor work let's works with let's work together kind of thing. It's more of like once you get higher in the floors, it's like that's when they become more selfish, it feels like. Lowland's for is basically you give you give Lowland you, you give Lowland uh, curiosity and lies to Roland give someone favorite beats and you're just good for the rest of the game for most of it. <laughs> I love favorite beats. <laughs> it's really just hard base. We'll do that. You're too quirky. Lowland is Lowland. Simple as that. Oh, I didn't burn books. Book of a great seven. Where are they? Give me this book, please. Did I not get Isadora's book? Oh, I mean Julia's. I didn't even say it right. <laughs> Welcome, Garyon. Stalking me on the internet yet again. Lolan. Did I get his page? Because if so, I'm putting the drip on now. Is it? No, I didn't get it. The library. I'll do that fight later. Book of Julia, Book of Sin, Book of Distortion. Okay, let's jump some folks. I can try it. I don't mind trying something like that. It doesn't sound too insane. I'll do this.
weed. I feel like I, I don't know which one would I consider my favorite app, no. Nah, I know how to play the game. I'm doing this for like when Limbus Company comes out. Because I want to be ready for it. If it was a blinded run, I'll be crying already. Algario just has bulletproof clothes. His clothes are bulletproof, not him. And even then, you can still kill him with a gun, which is hilarious. I just want you all to know that. Actually, I'll swap out, I guess. The shotgun. I already knew someone was going to say Wheels Industry <laughs> and Mook. Ooh, yeah. I got that just in time. Wait, why am I having you do that one? You do that one. I'll do this one. You just do this one, I guess. Just being the crap out of him, don't worry. For me, I gotta say, it has to be, um... I forgot what his guns are called. Because I like those the most. Because it's funny because he said guns are horrible and he uses them himself. Lolan was lying about guns. He just doesn't want us to use guns us. <laughs> Let's check this out. What are you guys all attacking? What are you focusing on at least? Okay, I'll do this. Oh, there's a page I want from here, so I might actually do this one for us. Oh yeah, then yeah, it's all tier logic. Oh my god, I could, I would uh... Well, it looks like somebody's gonna die. I don't know who. Wait. I should probably do this. This for here. Six. Yeah, um, the only thing I think was only his was his sword, and he combined that with the gloves somehow, so he's really super strong. So basically, okay, the three guns in his deck is all basically all Altair thing. Altair, I don't know how to pronounce it. He has one, he has two pistols and one shotgun. So that's my favorite one. 
It's simple as that. You can't go wrong with shotgun. Yeah, it's a shotgun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, that's surprising. It's two pistols and a shotgun. It's like he... I think like there's a little bit like a little bit of lore behind it too, where they say it's like a modified one. So he's like he has can swap between slug rounds. Yeah, Fury also should be a lot faster. And yeah, I'm pretty sure Roland just has aimbot at this point. There's no way he can do what he's doing without aimbot. <laughs> Um, no, they didn't get filled up yet. It's like, wait, I don't think so. We might have sp space for more, sp uh, more people. Okay, we gotta do Yasad again. Burn books first. I would get no books of Isadora. Sad day. Oh, sorry about that. I will move my thingy for you guys. Actually, I would have to move a lot. I'll fix it the next stream, I promise. I'll do that for you guys. Did we get any pages of Walter? Yes, we did. <laughs> I don't know how to fix it. It's just a temporary thing till I can get something set up.
that. There we go. Oh, okay, I will actually fix that. So yeah, I will change my camera thingy for another day. <laughs> well, I hope I'm glad you you're enjoying your nugget on the big screen. If we can even call it the big screen. Uh he got beat up. He got bullied. We're like still super far away from Bina's floor, so <laughs> it's no rush, really. I'm not gonna be have fun with some of these realizations as well. That Nihilusi. The Doomer Glossy. Oswald couldn't take it, he couldn't handle it. Oh, we got another nugget. I forgot about that. Who's going to be the next one to be added to our very stable family of librarians? I wonder who. Let me go check. Okay. There's a list. I'm going through the list. Wait, did I already add Rose? Yeah, I did add Rose. I'm looking at the list, the list, the list. Let's check. Cheese. Okay, we got Crisy Color next. Uh, God damn, some of these are really confusing. Oh, oh my God, Crazy. I haven't even seen like your base picture yet. Chris, I'm gonna just put Chris. Cause when I was a Marion. I don't always take it. It's like it's all it's only really good if you go all normal pages. But like late game it's like it becomes a bit iffy because you can like end up hurting yourself as well. Jesus. Oh my god, I have to go through all of these. I wish I could just import librarians. That would be so much easier. I wish we could do that. So I do know one thing, you have that. Four, five, six, maybe? No, it's not six. Why right, do you guys have to pick weird here? So there it is. Uh. 
Yeah, it's like around Emma where you get Tiff. <laughs> okay, real funny guy here. Oh, wait, no, that's the wrong thing. I'm doing the wrong here. Yeah, I just put, I'm just putting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's the first one that I saw for you, Asad. Yeah, you should do uh, goofy ass hairstyles, honestly. And I'm glad to see your nugget made it. It was the first one I saw for Hisad's floor. <laughs> so there we go. Now I need to find the hairstyle. Hair color and eye color. 2751 and 100. Seven, one and 100. There we go. Yeah, I can do you original. Just send it in like on the thing and tell me which one is yours and I'll add you because you were here for a while. I don't mind doing that. I just need to find your eleven. I think that's eleven for eyes. I'm not sure which. One. Yeah, that's eleven. You see the ten? Yeah, I think it's ten, not eleven. Oh yeah, Yan is is 100% one of the strongest people in the city right now. And I can't wait to see what he does next. Where's the bushy brow? There we go. Also, how tall is your character? I don't remember how tall they're supposed to be. I don't know. Yeah, there's two Mios in the city right now, so they're either gonna have one, either they're both gonna die, or one of them's gonna find the other and kill them. I might just give you a random key page for now.
Honestly, I'm actually confused on how strong Mio is. The question is who would be who? Would the complete Mio be the ego or would that one be the distortion? Yeah, Zhao, Yan, and like a few others are super strong in the city now. Honestly, I can see um Yan end up fighting Zhao somehow. I forgot, I think this one has cuts in it, doesn't, don't they? Yo, there's no way that did max. That rolled for eight. Your boy got drew. Your boy's about to get hurt. Don't worry, I saved your boy. Your boy's fine. to break some stuff god damn god damn it I'm going to hope your boy's dead. <laughs> I'm sorry. You might lose this one. I am not getting anything. God damn. I'm getting my butt kicked. You're joking. Uh, I gave my butt kicked.
I am now going to lose. I lost so bad. <laughs> I'm going to have to grind pages, aren't I? I don't want to grind pages. Not now, at least. Oh, I have to fight them again. Here we go. The entire thing is slash, so I'm gonna go with this four. All right, could give. I'm gonna give this <laughs> Malchus floor a chance again. I do that. Uh, I don't mind. I'll, I'll probably use it. I just don't really mind for this. If you man manage to manifest your own ego, yeah, it's pretty much like, I would say it's like wall level gear if you are, you're able to manifest your own ego. It really depends on how strong your will is, but like if you're able to manifest your ego, you're, you're, you already have a super strong will as is. It just depends on what your personality is like. Yeah, Kali is ego alone is at least like Wa or Aleph level. It's the same with Zhao and even uh Finn was the only one that was a H E level. Finn I I mean Philip was the only one that was H E level to like low low Wa level. But that's because he didn't get to fully manifest his. That's the only reason why. I wouldn't give her like white knight level powerful ego now. She's not white knight level yet. She can't. We need to see Bong Bong in Limbus Company. <laughs> we do. Zhao, for example, is definitely Aleph level with her ego. I think it depends on your ego. Callie never needed an ego weapon because she really was, she already had one. Zhao and um, Philip both like man, Zhao didn't even manifest her own weapon. She like kept using her the one she already had. Like it morphed itself. Yeah, Callie's ego is the red mist armor, not the weapon itself. Yeah, like Callie, she was able to manifest. She, I don't think she manifests as a weapon. I don't think she can do that. Peters.
yeah, Zhao and Philip upgraded their weapons, but I think Kali never saw any reason to upgrade hers. Like, why would you need to upgrade your ego if you already have, like, one of her best weapons? Kali can already do that in her base. Can fuck yeah, Kali can already do that in her base already. Like she doesn't need to like manifest her ego to do that. Yeah, Callie's able to not just stand one voice in her head, but she's able to fan handle like multiple of them. Yeah, Callie has like a special bond with Ego. Like she's the like, one person who has like a special actual bond with all type of abnormalities. She doesn't even just use four Egos. She uses more than that. You're also forgetting about Smiling Bud, uh, One Sin, Gold Rush. She uses a lot more than just four. <laughs> it's she's insane if you really want to go into like how strong she actually is. Let's not forget this. Callie also didn't even like fully manifest her ego yet. Well, she did fully manifest. I mean she didn't fully understand all the other egos yet. She was only using mimicry when she sold two claws in the arbiter. Callie didn't get the rest of her egos yet, so she was pretty strong at this point. And the lob that's why I say Lobotomy Corp, um, Callie is the strongest. That's where she peaks at. Once, it depends though. It's like, for example, if you have once in his ego on, and somebody tries to kill you, once in himself would interfere at that point. Yeah, final reception. Final reception, Cali isn't no. Final reception, Cali is basically before the final fight with them, um, the Arbiter and Claw. Yeah, the latest story drop with Dante just made it everything super confusing. I don't know what's going on anymore. I have no clue. <laughs> oh, I have the drip now. Where is it? I just saw it. I know it's here. Here it is. Your boy got the drip now. That means you're changing drip too. We're matching. I'll give you Mars page. Oh yeah, if you had Zang, in fact, no, I feel like if you had um, one sin's ego, it would actually help you instead of trying to hurt you. It will like probably tell you what to do in a fight. <laughs> okay, yeah, final reception, Callie. It's like she's not that it's like a it's like a weak inversion. Cause she's not fully there yet. Cause like the final reception, Callie is basically Callie mixed with an older, more experienced Callie, but weaker slightly because that's her page, but she's not at her peak yet. Yeah, once it is actually peak ab abdo, it would actually help you like without a doubt. 
yeah one sin i think at most would like you would probably end up just like being like super faithful to him etc try like to appease everyone in your life then <laughs> like atone for all of your sins now then you have you would have to take the ego off at some point because otherwise you would like fully like be consumed by it but it would be like having one sin's ego on would be one of the few egos you could wear like for like probably like a month straight Yeah, Callie was one of the few people. Callie had, was like, she had, she, to, to define how strong Callie was, she was able to manifest her ego without light. That's like insane. That's an insane fit by itself. <laughs> I, I, I can't really describe it. She's just that good. Yeah, personal ego don't have any corrosion. But you can distort from being in your personal ego for too long. I, the reason why I say she isn't at her peak in the final reception is because that's also, she has her weaker self as a page that's basically still like, she's still forming herself. She's not at Lobotomy Corp level yet. Yeah, once someone actually like try to take himself off of you if you if you use his ego for too long, you be like, "What are you doing, bro? Relax." Oh man, I have to fight Walter again. Oh wait, that's perfect actually. Uh, borrow my key page really quickly, Malkov. Where is it? to use Isadora page. I would get unlucky enough to not get it. Uh, key page. Never mind, I'll just have to. No, I feel, yeah, Callie's built different. Like, I don't, I feel like Roland's getting to Callie's level, but he's still far away from it, I feel like. Kali is literally just built different on a piece of paper. You just can't com compete with it. Yeah, Roland fought like... I don't think you can confirm like... I feel like even like Argalia's... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Argal we didn't see Argalia's true distortion yet. He was the only one that we didn't get to see his final form in. So we, got we didn't even get to see Argal how strong Argalia could become in the end. Yeah, P. Callie is too strong at this point. <laughs> like, they need to... I feel like they, they're going to have to retcon something about Callie because she's too strong. I will check out mods, like, after I do the main game, which is probably going to take a while. Which sucks. But it has to be done. God damn it. Funny. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone wanted Argalia to die. Honestly, though, I'm just happy to see Purple Tears back. I want to really see what she does. This is like my fourth run or something. I've played this game a ton. I have an unhealthy addiction to this game. I'm gonna just kill that. Can I dodge that? I 
guess I'll do this instead. Carmen is a dick. Carmen is a horrible person. There's no debating it. She's just straight garbage of a person. She's a garbage of a human being. Carmen is a garbage person. <laughs> if you stand Carmen, don't talk to me. We can't be friends. This is just facts. I'm sorry. If you like Carmen, don't talk to me. That's that done. Yeah, um, Argalia was. But you gotta admit this though, the only reason why Carmen even talked to Argalia is cause so she could get what she wanted. Like, I don't trust that. It's just, she's not a good person. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, no, nah, it's just like, I can understand her, it's just like, she's just a horrible person at this point. Like, I just can't handle her, it's like... Hmm, we probably could. Uh, yeah, there are examples of it. And it's even like... And that should... I feel like Argaya killing himself would make... Wouldn't be as bad. Yeah, she did. Which one is this? Pierce, I'll go for this. Yeah, uh, the key to realization is all you need to know about um, Carmen. The difference between Ian and Roland is that Ian, like, he basically fell in love with a horrible person. Well, not a, like, or a person who was much more selfish. She started off good, but it's like the way she ended is I think it's what like turns like is just like it's too bad at that point. Yeah, okay, yeah, people forget about this. Carmen is the voice telling you to distort, show your horrible, your real true colors. Yeah, like you can't really compare them either, because we already know like what, who, and what went through.
Yeah, but Ion is basically saving people from distorting. Carmen's trying to get people to distort. In short. She wants you to be like us. Own <laughs> Ian is the Ian never saved anyone, but he's stopping people from distorting. Carmen wants you to go sicko mode. Ian's like, "Hey, yo, bro, you need to chill. You need to you need to calm down that goofiness. You're getting a little too dubious over there, buddy." So that's pretty much the difference. The white voice, well, the light, the voice of light, etc. The one that's telling you to not distort is basically Ion. No, it's not just. Uh, blah, blah. Isn't it revealed at the end? That's cap. Distortion is not the most true version of yourself. Distortion is basically if you decided to say every good thing about you, decide to say throw it to the side and do give all into your desire. Carmen's version of your true self is something that only desires, not something that like has any restraint or anything. You're basically being turned back into a primate if, if that's what you want. The story is basically saying return to monkey now. I'm not asking anymore. You will distort. <laughs> Should I do this one? Ego, yeah, ego is the most true version of yourself. If you want a true version of yourself, you want to manifest your ego. Distortion is basically you giving into everything that's negative about yourself. Which is great for the city, not great for you. <laughs> Yo, imagine someone actually distorts into a dart throwing monkey. I'll laugh. I like, yo, that can't be your distortion. I might have to reread a lot of stuff as well. God damn, I got so much to do. It's no fun. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. Mr. Knife is more of Oswald just fucking around with stuff. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Knife is just Oswald screwing around, having a little fun, being a little dubious little fellow.
Yeah, I think even if it's like a, a borrowed ego, you could still hear Carmen's voice. <laughs> Thanks. I, I enjoyed making that video. The sandwich one is a very good one. District 23 is very, 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 a very fun place. Eight o'clock circus is just Oswald goofing around. Oswald just, he's doing a little tomfoolery. God damn, you smack me up, boy. Yeah, I feel like Oswald, he can like, he can tap into someone's distortion, basically, I feel like. That's what I think he does, at least. It wouldn't surprise me if that's what he honestly did. It's the same way he kind of got it out of Philip. Oh my god, Dong Huan and Bayard did not deserve to be general receptions. They need their whole ass story to them. I, I, I swear on God. Along with ba along with Kim, I wanted Kim as well to have a have his own like story page story arc as well. I wanted a bunch of more stuff. How many pages do we go through? Now, I hope you do not mind. Ugh. It's gonna hurt. Ain't it? Three ton. And... Oh, you mean the um leaflet smoke um office? Yeah, Bamboo Kim's art was amazing, and I'm surprised they didn't use it for more. Yeah, like he had a story arc too, which is what annoyed me. I wasn't paying attention to that. God damn, what is this? Yeah, it does include co content, sadly. I wish it didn't, but it does. Yes, like, you cannot tell me Kim was not meant to be an actual reception. Well, that's done for. Yeah, Kim is Kim's page is super good late game for some reason. People will sleep on Kim's page so hard, but he literally carried Greta. Okay, if you guys want to know how to get through Greta's fight, use Kim's page on the very on the hard at the end of the game. I don't have anything, so I'll die. So I guess I'll use these. 
Kim is Kim is insane as a page. Claim their bones. Ugh. Please. More. Like I beg of you. Yeah. <laughs> like Kim, like he's like the easiest. Okay, so if you So basically what I did for um Hod, I gave her Kim's page with Sayo's passes for Slash. And that just like it just made it her have like infinite power, which is amazing. Yeah, that's the only thing you have to worry about is power null, but even then, it's not too bad. Oh yeah, Oliver is like, okay, people sleep on Oliver's page. <laughs> Oliver is like one of the best pages in the game, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I wish there was more to like a whole like after story too. I, but that's what Limbus is for and they're going to make another game after Limbus as well. If I had to give it top 10 pages, Oliver is probably taking my number one spot. Oh my, yes, okay, I think like, we need to talk about all the endgame stuff, like, the, the offices in endgame are actually super good. <laughs> like, they, those offices are goaded with how strong they actually are. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do mods like after I finish the run. Yeah, this last, the, yeah, the, yeah, Limbus is going to be funding, like, a bunch of other Project Moon projects. So, I'm hoping it does super well, because I want a bunch of more Project Moon stuff. They also want to replant, they, I also noticed they want to remake Lobotomy Corp, because, but they need a new programmer for, for it. Yeah, the PM verse isn't ending anytime soon, so that's what I'm really excited for. No, I haven't checked the, any cutscenes. I'll save that for next round then.
Yeah. <laughs> I already have a job, so at least I have to work. Honestly, I don't mind them making a gotcha game. I don't mind. I'm just hoping that it's not too bad. Where, like, I fully lose interest in it because of that. But I'm like, I feel like even if, like, the game is like, not the best, I'm still going to be invested into the story that was made so far. Why are they all jumping me? Why are you jumping me? What did I do to you? I have done nothing to you to deserve this. God damn. Yay, I win. You lose. No, they're definitely, I feel like Project Moon is already in the habit of bullying us. They're going to keep bullying us. Project Moon is definitely one that seems like they care a lot more than most. So I'm really hoping that they do stay true on that. Yeah, it's, I feel like they eased up on like how hard it was, but I feel like that's needed because like they want more people to come in as well. I want it to be like Darkest Dungeon. I feel like Limbus Company is gonna be like Darkest Dungeon. I feel like that's my that's what I feel like it's gonna be. Oh, that, that, that's kind of boring though. I don't like how they. I don't. I want people to be have to play the other games to understand them. Like they should leave like some kind of hints and stuff. And yeah, I mean like, it's probably gonna be like um, Darkest Dungeon in that matter, where like you send out teams, etc. Have some sort of mirror dungeons, etc. Stuff like that. You go through certain pathways. It feels like it's gonna be like that. You know, you can actually tell what type of women the devs are into just by looking at them. Be the third episode of Hot Story. Oh, I forgot. I have to do this weird one. Yeah, it's confirmed to have a PC port. I'm just hoping Limbus is on Steam. I don't want to have to go to any other, other gaming site right now. Okay, Project Moon is obviously into... I'm going to say it. Project Moon is into... What is it I was going to say again? Oh, yeah, they're into, like, Femboys and Giant Woman. Nah, actually, you want to know something funny? Uh... Bina's only five foot seven. Keep waiting for this to go. There we go. Rat grinding time. Bro, why did they go so hard on this track right here? I don't know why they did. Yeah, um, Garyon is short. She just feels like she's tall. P 
PM said if it's a hole, it's a goal. And they're fine with that. They're living their lives. They're having a good time. Who am I to stop them? Okay, I'm gonna need some other pages now as well. I'll get retaliate to. What do you have? Yeah, I like how Project Moon does their customization. Just gotta take that. I'm not putting on it. No, you can't make me. I won't do it. I, I'm not doing that. I refuse. I have decided. There will be no Femboy rigs. Oh no, I can't do that. All right, seven, three to four. And then we can multi-hate the fuck out of this thing. Yes, yes. Getting. I think Lim. I hope Limus Company has nuggets. Like that's the biggest point of like PM games. I am. My sub goal is 1K, but I'm not gonna hit it today. That would be insanity. Can you shank that thing? Thank you. Oh no, I didn't do it right. There we go. No, I'm not. I'm not an index. I'm not part of the index. Leave me alone. <laughs> I just wear their clothes. It's a complete, it's a really big difference, I, I promise. Uh, can I? Come on, just give me the angry face. Oh, wow. Welcome to the somebody just sub. Thank you very much, Knuck Boy, Knuck Me Boy. Nice. <laughs> is this is gonna be in his like giant form, isn't it? Where he's just like, ooh, -woo. maybe you just have to give me a little smoochy roots. Uh, I'm already good at cringe. Straight up though, I need if Limbus gets rid of um nugget customization, that's like half of the player base right there. I I came to the Labine Record because I saw you can make funny nuggets. I need my nuggets. <laughs> Bro, imagine you, your prescript is this, you have to screw an arbiter. <laughs> Drip for days, honestly.
It's the second Amna battle. That was what it was. Oh, wait, wait, what am I doing? Why are you all jumping him? Get, get off of him. Get off. Nasdaq did nothing wrong. Oh, this is going to be one of those. Okay, I'll do that. Do I? Boo -boo. There we go. Now, let's kill that motherfucker. Jump him now. Ouch. Yeah, the prescript is just like it's basically this the prescript is kind of weird though. It's like it's basically God in a sort. But I it's really hard to describe it. Oh yeah, Oswald is naked until he like joins the ensemble. He's like just fully naked. Oswald, okay, okay, let's all talk about Philip's distortion really quickly. Philip distorted because Oswald forced him to read NTR. Yeah, the city is technically an abno. Philip's distortion was from NTR. That's that's just facts. I'm sorry if you feel like your bubbles burst or anything. Oswald made Philip read NTR and he got so he got so <laughs> he distorted because of it. That's the true story of how Philip distorted. <laughs> don't look it up. If you don't know what it is, don't look it up. Save yourself. <laughs> Save yourself. <laughs> don't look it up. Please. I'm trying to help you here now. <laughs> don't tell him Let, you don't want to know you don't want to know if you don't know what it is now you don't want to know <laughs> you guys can't tell me that Philip's entire storyline of him getting gaslighted by Oswald is not Oswald just him reading NTR that's literally what he is doing to him <laughs> and he couldn't handle it honestly i don't blame philip for distorting right there because i would have distorted too <laughs> don't tell them what ntr is bro no i tried to save you all i tried to save you no i told you no, this is, I'm trying to, I tried to save you all. You can't blame me. <laughs> he did. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Bro, Oswald was a... Yo, Oswald was out of pocket though. We, I, I won't let Oswald. Oswald was out of pocket for that one though. Out of everything Oswald could have done to make him distort, he really went out of pocket with it. <laughs> Oswald needed it though. <laughs> don't tell. Please don't look it up. Don't look it up. This drip is temporary. This drip is temporary.
ってない<laughs> Personally, I'm built different for real, for real. I would not distort. You see, there's only one way I would ever distort, and that's if Ham Pang Pang got destroyed. Then I'm distorting on the spot. <laughs> Bro, no, you did not just bring Rats a girlfriend into this. I will, no, that's dirty. You can't do that. <laughs> Even I wouldn't disrespect Philip like that. Oh, uh, that's mean. That's horrible. Simply don't distort, honestly. Skill issue if you distort. The only, there's only one way I would ever distort, and that's if Ham Pang Pang got destroyed. Otherwise, I'm manifesting my ego before then. You see, to simply not distort, commit yourself to entirely to one thing. <laughs> Philip is literally just the main character at this point, and honestly, he might just have a comeback in Limbus Company, and I don't know how to feel about that. I'm a, you know what, you wanna know the honest answer? I'm more likely to make Carmen the store before she makes me the store. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna stop the stream here, everyone. It was a blast to have all of you here. I enjoy streaming for you all, and in fact, I'll be streaming this entire week, starting Monday to Friday, for you guys. But I will take a break on Sunday and Saturday and Sunday of next week. And I'll also add the people who are next in line for your characters in each of the floors, so you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be back Monday. I'm not gonna be gone for long. It's not gonna be a whole week. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna stream the same time Monday through Friday the entire week. So I'm gonna be here for a while. You guys can pretty much catch me at the exact same time as always. And I haven't slept either, so. I had a great time. I'll talk to you guys later. Z is now going to run away from the head because I've committed tax evasion on a highly intensive scale. 